Hello there. My name is Mac Horse, and this is a special video. I officially became a collaborator of Minima Mod, and so today, I'm going to show you the Minima 3.4.3 update. The main feature of this new update is the video recording configuration screen, which you can open by holding shift while pressing recording button, which in this case is F4. Here you can quickly edit width, height, frames per second, frame limit, and engine speed properties. Those will automatically save when you change them. There are also convenience buttons at the bottom, which lets you quickly access Minima's mod options. Open the folder for movies folder, which is the capture path in the capturing mod options, and also you can press record button, or press enter key, to start recording process. If you don't want your file to be named after current time, you can also type in your own output name. Now let's record something quickly. If we'll open the recorded video file, you'll can see it's called test.mp4, and it will be slowed down and recorded in 1080p. Another neat features were added are more human readable error messages, and a bit more forgiving configuration. A lot of people, due to not being too familiar with computers, make a mistake by specifying the path to ffmpeg folder, rather than ffmpeg.exe binary itself. So in 3.4.3, Minima will look for ffmpeg file. If the folder was specified, this feature should save some headache for new users of Minima mod. And if you input the wrong path to capture path, or encode a path, Minima will let you know in a more human readable way. Last but not least, Dapinger added a config option that fixes recording of the footage with shaders, render quality above 1, and FXAA. By default, that's how it will record when you will record the footage with, with FXAA, and render quality above 1 enabled. If you'll enable Dapinger's anti-aliasing and fast render fix option, it will record correctly with FXAA. From my brief testing, it also should work with resolutions bigger than your screen. I hope this new update will make it much pleasant to use Minima. I've been using this video configuration GUI for a couple of months now, and I would say it's awesome. Downloads are on GitHub, check the description. Thanks for watching, and make sure you have Optifine E3 or above.